The Italian fans are fired up. And with good reason, they're in the playoffs playing Germany in the four versus five game this morning. Germany scoring one in the first, a blank in the second. Then a chance for Team Italy and skip Joel Raternaz to put two points on the board. With a nose hit, no problem for the experienced skipper. A 2-1 lead after three. And then for a huge mess for Germany. A draw in to lie two for Joel Retornaz. Just slipping a little deep. Leaves a chance for Mark Muscatovic to try to draw in. Really difficult to get enough inside the yellow for a score. Decent attempt. Does cut down the score to one for Italy, but a steal and 3-1 lead. In N5, big miss on the first from German skip Muscatovic. Leaves Retonaz a draw in around the center guard to dismantle the attack from Germany. They set up such a good end. Lying two against. Could play the tap for one, but Mark Muscatovic wants to come up clutch with a big shot for a multiple score. Runs it back very close, but not quite enough. Another steal for Italy to lead 4-1 after five. And seven. Germany with the center guards. And last one trying to mix it up on the last. Mark Muscatovic trying to thread the needle to score more than the one, but just catching the guard. Still a point for Germany. Trailing Italy by three into end eight. Well played in by the Germans, leaving just a button for Joel Retornaz to make the draw. But even with Mozaner and Arman on the sweep, comes up shy. A steal of one for Germany, bringing them back into the game. Still Italy with a 5-3 lead. In the ninth end. Mark Muscatovic with his last of the end. Big extension to try to shuffle all the yellows. Does that very, very well to lie to. Pistol from the German skipper. Joel Retornaz, Team Italy with the timeout. Deciding to play for one or make the double for three. In the end, going for the double, and Joel Retornaz will make the double, score three, win the game in nine. Progressing to the semi final with an 8 3 final score. Congratulations. Uh, you came out extremely aggressive. Was that part of the plan? It was, because we played the, this team uh, yesterday and we saw that when we play aggressive we can, uh, we can uh, put pressure on them with making lots of good shots and guards in play and stones in the, in the house. We saw that we are a little bit better than them in this kind of games, in this kind of play, so that's why we, we played aggressive today. Let's talk about the setup a little bit, Mattia and, and his play today. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, in modern curling, uh, leads rocks are, are so important. So we needed a good performance from him if we wanted to play this kind of game, and uh, he he was amazing today. Your thoughts on your supporters up in the crowd? I think it's it's fun. It's good for the sport of curling to have some people involved, and uh, it makes the sport grow. And uh, we need to educate them a little bit to be uh, quiet when the opposition is playing. But I think it's part of the game. Sometimes we have schools coming in, and they keep shouting too. So I think it's uh, the, the supporters have been great all week here in Switzerland, cheering for their country. And uh, today was 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 a very good atmosphere in the arena. Doesn't get any easier. Thoughts on playing Sweden in the semi? It never gets easy when you play semifinals in the World Championship. It doesn't matter who you're playing. So we just need to go home, get some rest, and be focused for tonight's game. Thank you. Good luck.
per ci fare le tue robate dal posto, non è? Tranquillo, la via giù adesso, Denise.